Hey everybody, how you doing? Hey. I'm about to hold hands with you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb, but we're so glad you joined us. I'm going to check this pan over here. Hey y'all, we got a lot going on, on today. We are cooking some, some really good food today. Let me check it while you're talking. And Debbie is actually going to make us a dessert. Um, we're going to take dinner over to one of our friend's house um, who's had hip surgery. So um, when we do that, we're going to take her this awesome dessert Debbie's making. It's a cherry cheese coffee cake. It's a lot mm -hmm. like a, a Danish, a cream cheese Danish. And I make a, a, I don't know if we've done the cream cheese Danish yet, but so. it's really good. The difference you is, on me, I know, the difference is we're adding some cherries to that one, but you're going to like this, so I'll tell you about it. Okay. Okay, we start off, I like to make mine on this, on a round, like, like a, a pizza, pizza pan. stone, or? This is a, a stone, but a pizza pan is what I usually okay. make it. I'm not, you don't necessarily have to, you could make it in a... Uh, rectangle shape or square, whatever you want to. <clears throat> but you start with crescent rolls. Okay. Um, I bought One these. Package. These it takes two. You okay. want two of them. I've already spread out some of them on the pan in order to save a little bit of time. And if I can get this one open, I'll get started. I'm gonna let you open one, baby. We all know if you don't, y'all don't remember that Mo is scared of the crescent roll. That, that's why. <laughs> It popped open without me even hitting it. That but there's no happen. dough boy, so we good. <laughs> no dough boy up in here. So I already used one whole package of crescent rolls. Now I'm going to use four of them. While I'm doing this, Mo is going to be cutting the other four in thirds. Okay, so just, like just do strips. No, this way. Oh, gotcha. And you're going to have of four them. of them. I got you. Okay. I can handle it, Dan. And I'm going to take the the other four. And I'm going to lay them out on my round stone with the wide edge to the back of the stone. And I'm just going to lay them down because I'm going to use my little baker's roller to spread them out over the pan. Just spread them. Just kind of lay them down. Kind of try to keep an eye on this pan too. I don't want it to boil over. We got some fettuccine noodles boiling over there. Can you reach me that um, roller? roller, please? So let me just spread these out, roll them up in, just roll them. They don't even have to meet, although they do meet in this pan. They don't have to touch, but in this case, I've got it all touching. You need to have your oven heating to 350 degrees. Done. That's going. So after you get your crescent rolls um, in your pan, um, I've kind of made a little bit of an edge around the uh, edge, just kind of pushing them out. You're gonna have, you need to have an uh, eight ounce cream cheese and it's best to let it set out so it can, can soften. Mm -hmm. uh, you want, uh, with your cream cheese, you're gonna add a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar. So I've already done that. I've already, um, this is the cream cheese and powdered sugar and one egg. I've already mixed this up with a hand mixer. And just make sure you get that cream cheese soft. So Good and can, smooth. Yeah, it makes it really smooth. I actually added more cream cheese than the recipe calls for because I wanted Why did you do that? Because this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a thicker good filling. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> I wanted it to be a thicker filling. You know, sometimes you get a bottle of crescent roll and there's hardly no cream cheese in yes, it. Yes, I want yes. there to be cream cheese in my whole And that's roll. kind of what we do. So, Baby and I, oh wait, we make um, it our own. Okay. Exactly. Also add some <laughs> either almond or um, a teaspoon. vanilla Half flavoring. Half a teaspoon. Uh, one teaspoon. Okay. I really like almond the best myself. So I do too. That's, that's what we're name. using is almond. So I'm putting in a one teaspoon of almond okay. flavoring, and I'm just going to mix that up really good, and then we're just going to spread this. You mm. smell that almond flavor? Yes, and almond yeah. goes really good with cherry. Have oh. you ever noticed that? Uh, well, then that's cherry what, and almond. That's why it's, this. That's why it's so perfect mm -hmm. with what we're doing here. I even like that cherry almond lotion. Mm. A cherry oh. almond soap. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Spread our cream cheese. Oh my goodness, goodness. that smells good. Drop it onto the cr uh, crescent rolls that we've already got. And how much out. extra cream cheese did you? I have? actually put a whole eight ounce extra instead of a half. I mean, I, it actually calls for one, but and you I added it. a second one. Okay, gotcha. Love it. So love it, love it. That yes, just gives us plenty awesome. of, of, of filling for this this uh, coffee cake. Okay. 
So we just want to spread this out. I'll zoom in so y'all can okay. see that. And, and just kind of try to get it almost all the way to the edge. I'm not going to run it all the way up on the edge because we're going to put the pieces that you've cut on here too. So okay. and just, there we go. So later on, Mo and I will probably fight over who gets to that would be me. This <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, last next thing we're going to do is take a can of cherry pie filling. And that's this is a light, light because that's all they had. You oh, could okay. use whatever, but I think light tastes just as good as the regular. Heavy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to let me get a spoon. And I'm just going to spread this all over my crescent mm. roll. It looks really good. Isn't it? See, this oh is a, goodness. You're, when you're thinking of Valentine's, yes, um, that's this will be a great dessert for great a Valentine's. dessert for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, you're getting up to Valentine's yes, Day, and, and your yogurt. sweetheart wants something sweet. So. Today is February 1st. And so Valentine's is on the way. It's our next holiday. Mm -hmm. Hope everybody's planning for something wonderful with your sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So spread your um, cherries out. And then last step is to take these pieces that Mo's cut and just place them over your crescent roll. Just spread them out and kind of push it in at the back and try to make these kind of meet kind meet of close. In the middle. Yeah. They don't have to be perfect. It's just gonna, we're just gonna spread them out. And so have you got, do you think you and uh, Tink will have some big Valentine's plans? Well, we normally go out to dinner the Saturday before Valentine's because you know, if you try to go out Valentine's night, it's a nightmare. It's almost impossible. Yeah, you have to have reservations a month in advance and even then it's crowded, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go the weekend before. Valentine's is on what, Monday this year? Yeah, I know. It's on a Monday, so we're going to go out on Saturday. So there's what we have. And we've already got a reservation. Have you? Where at? At the Firebird Grill. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. It's our fave. Thinking ahead. That's awesome. So there we go. That's our uh, cherry cream cheese uh, coffee cake. Is that all you do? That's all there is to it. There's I'm going to bake it. Um, at 350 for uh -huh. about 25 minutes. Okay. When it comes out, there is a little glaze of powdered sugar and milk, which we'll mix up and put on okay. it at the end. So, mm. so we will be back to show you what this looks and like we'll after it's baked. Taste it. A taste test. <laughs> See y'all in a minute. <laughs> hey, it's come out of the oven. Is this hot? What's yes. come out of the oven? The the cream cheese, uh, <laughs> cherry tea, cream cheese Danish. Me. It's still oh, it's messing with them, y'all. Yeah. There you go. Can you see how good that looks? Isn't that pretty? It, remember, it was just. Yeah, that's uh, beautiful. I'm going to zoom in. It was a um, crescent roll, cream cheese filling, pie oh uh, filling on top of that, and some more cream cheese, uh, more crescent rolls on top. Last thing to do is to make a little drizzle to go on top. It isn't something you'd have to have, but. It is pretty good. So add one half cup of uh, powdered sugar to your bowl, and then you need a little bit of milk. Um, uh, it's the recipe calls for two or three tablespoons. I start with one and mix, and then see if I need any more. You just want a little, a little. You want uh, it to be a little thick, don't you? you want, yes, you don't want it to be really runny. And it doesn't take very much liquid. To get mixed in with powdered sugar. See, look, that's it's still thick, but a little, yeah. But it's probably two is all I'm going to need. I'm going to ahead and add a little more milk. My son said he'll say milk funny. Really? Yes. He always he always makes funny. How do you say it? I don't know. Well, my daughter, <laughs> I don't know I say it normally. My daughters <laughs> say I say ketchup funny. So ketchup. <laughs> And meal. Debbie says I say it for me too. <laughs> I can't help it. There is our um, powdered sugar it. drizzle. So let's move this out of the way so you can see how. And you're gonna take drizzle this. It. I don't. Some people want to be real fancy. fancy. I don't like fancy. I just like to <laughs> drizzle. 
Oh. Well, you don't like fancy, <laughs> do you? How do you not like fancy? Debbie likes messy. <laughs> I like messy. And I think that's because I'm always in a hurry. And fancy's going to take I a try? lot more time. Well, I went to let you do it anyway. <laughs> Because, you know, Mo likes fancy. She likes fancy. I like fancy. So let's see. Don't like what, is, what would it be like if we did it fancy? We probably can't do it fancy, but. You could go just on the crescent roll part. Yeah. But then it's ready to eat. Mm-mm. Fancy, but you know what? Fancy, messy, it don't matter. It don't matter. It's going to taste the same. It's so going to be good, Debbie. I'm so excited. But it really is so easy. Such a good um, a good recipe to make. a little. Right in the middle there. there. Yeah. Now I'm going to be messy. And now I'm going to do this. So there you have it. Isn't mm. that so pretty? That is gorgeous. We're going to taste now. Or do a taste test now? Um, we need to take pictures. We'll taste yeah, it a little bit. We'll taste it later, but you better believe we will taste it and yeah. you better believe it's gonna be good, y'all. Fabulous. We'll, we'll see, see you later. Bye. Bye bye. bye.